amazing the the atmosphere here the tailgaters are here four hours early best well, of atmosphere I, I i know i'm looking forward to it i know everybody here in orlando is looking forward to xfl football we're getting ready to kick it off we're going to shock the world with this i'm telling you this is going to be fantastic history going to be made here tonight in orlando and all these fans are going to get up they're going to make some noise and start running the world what football is like florida style in orlando in the rage we're going to have a hell of a good time tonight we're going to tell you some stories. It's going to be great, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad that you're with us here in Orlando. Let's all, one thing you remember, have a great time. And now let's take you down to the coach, John the Coachman, for the scramble of the ball. J.R. King, thank you very much. Orlando, Florida, there's not going to be any boring coin toss, not in the XFL, oh no. Here in the XFL, there's a scramble for the ball to see who has a choice. They'll be on offense or defense to start the game. For Orlando, we have number 30, Asajj Abdin D. For the Chicago Enforcers, number 21, Troy Saunders. Here's how it goes. Both men line up at the 30-yard line. When the referee blows the whistle, they race to the middle of the field. The first person to get there will have the decision. Also, if there is an overtime period, whoever gets the ball first will have the choice in the overtime period who will have the ball first. So Orlando, let's have some noise for the very first big time rule change and let's get after it. I'll tell you what, we have our, sustained our first injury of the night on the scramble for the ball king as the, as the Orlando player was trying to possess the ball. It looked like his shoulder got caught underneath him, and he may have a separated shoulder there. Well, I don't think I've ever seen anybody get injured during a coin toss. This is what makes the XFL different right off the bat. Man, if this doesn't make headlines, nothing will. The coin toss resulted in the first injury of the XFL season. Here's a look at it. The referee blows the whistle, the first man to get to the ball. Wow, you see that collision right there. The first man to actually take possession of the ball. His team gets their choice of offense or defense. And take a look at the uh, Orlando Rage player. I think you're right. It looks like his arm gets caught right under the uh, Chicago player. So I've said Dean got his arm wow. tied up under him, and that shoulder just gave away. Oh, man. And Chicago has won the scramble for the ball, and that means they'll have their... It's as, as, as if they have won the coin toss. Forget the coin toss, JR. Man, oh man, the scramble for the ball. Sean said Dean, he's a defensive back from North Carolina State, being attended to, and will look like he's being taken to the locker room. So obviously, we may not see much of that young man here tonight. And that's uh, sort of a, a bizarre way. Could that be a, a sign of things to come as we look at? at Galen Hall, who's who's been around the block. Oh, you got that right, Galen Hall. Well, you know, I mean, the last, he's won the two out of the last three NFL Europe World Bowl titles. And of course, JR, I know he's a favorite of yours because you're a big Oklahoma gonna, fan. Galen's been 18 years coaching doctor. in Oklahoma. You'd want doctor, right? And there's Ron Meyer. Ron Meyer, a very familiar oh, name in football circles. Formerly a, a CNN broadcaster. He's, he's also had a very impressive coaching uh, resume. Come down there, Coach. <laughs> You're right, Ron Meyer coached the uh, New England Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts. Been out of football since 94, but he's back in a big way with the XFL. Wow. I guarantee you one thing, Meyer's players at SMU are making more money, or didn't make more money than these players are making here tonight. <laughs> Glad in the XFL, they're here for the love of the game. It is a, a bowl-like playoff atmosphere in this history-making night. A huge, huge crowd of, of Florida Rage fans here to see what the XFL is all about. And the kickoff will be from the 30-yard line. And King, these, these kickoffs are, are very unique. You got that right. The players have to make an attempt to catch the ball. And if the kick is retrieved in the end zone, it's got to be brought out. Got to run the kick out. Better to run the ball out of the end zone. Result in a safety. And here we go. The XFL is underway. Wow, Taylor's kickoff. Taken by number 
seven. He's done. And Roel Preston, the return man, the nice return up over the 30-yard line. So it'll be Chicago's ball first. And uh, their quarterback is Tim Lester, a six-footer out of Western Michigan. What do you know about Western Michigan, King, other than it's chilly there tonight? I don't know. I don't know if it's as chilly in Western Michigan as it is here in Orlando. This is not really typical Florida weather, is it? No, it isn't. There's a handoff. Avery. Avery with first and 10 yardage on his mind. Gets up near the first and 10. Avery, number 20, a number one draft pick for the Dolphins. A few it's years back. Four belly first sound. Can you hear that, JR? This is what's cool about the XFL. We're gonna get to hear the plays called as the coaches are, are talking to the quarterback. What's he got? Let's see if it's Avery again. And there's a flag down called by the umpire. Eight right, five, ball start. start. Hey, the first down on the last play. We never yeah. came up and signaled. First down. We had a first down. We had a first down. We had a first down. Okay. okay. Move six. Right. 85. Make it eight. Four eight. Prior to the snap. Ball start. 85. Offense. Everybody's five okay. Yards. Can you hear me all right? Five remains first. Second. That's Willie Tate, the tight end, who was uh, moving before the snap. The officials. I uh, neglected to stop to start the clock or yes. start to set the chain. Should we right. penalize the referees there for uh, not signaling the first down on that last play? This camera's taking right inside the huddle. Well, Avery, the long setback. Yeah. And there's a, uh, the little bootleg and another boot. I think we got offensive motion again. It's like know. the right Hold side on. of that line is jumping. Right, right tackle. tackle. 79. Right tackle, right tackle. 79. The first night jitters here. Yeah. Prior to the snap, ball start. 79, offense. That's number 79. Brian LaBelle. Still first down. On uh, the right guard. We're right quick to 12. We've got 1353 here. What we hit? That's got Wing, wing right, quick 212. There you go. You know, execution is going to be really important early in the season, and especially early in these games. These teams have been to training camp about a month. Still coming together, obviously. It doesn't happen overnight. 1354. If he's pressed, run a page. If he's pressed, run a page. Or no. I think the officials are yeah. actually resetting the clock right now that you want to Chicago's you want offense a little bit of extra time here. He's not taking it. Back wide right. What are, what are we waiting for? Hack wide right, quick. 212 by one, ready? I love this, JR. We're right in the huddle right with these right guys. Here. First down at 20. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what the problem is. We're having a clock problem down at one of the ends of the uh, of the stadium here. One clock says 1354. Hey, look quick. Hey, it says 1954. Look quick. There's one end zone hey, clock. That's the one that's wrong. Yeah. That's the one that's right. Hey, hey, exactly. If he's pressed. Huddle him up. Huddle We're not up. supposed to have 19 huddle minutes up. in a quarter, are we? No. <laughs> and uh, you heard the offensive coordinator tell him to huddle up. Well, this is helping Let's the Chicago with offense clock. without a doubt. Tim Lester, a uh, little more time to talk to his players there. Okay, he's okay. spot up here. Okay, go back to the end spot. of the run right here. Okay, go from there. First. Number 83, caught for a crackback block, JR. He's guilty. Tim, get ready for a wristband call. Say the quiet. 83 offense, 15 yards, and then the run. Repeat second down. Aaron Bailey from Louisville, wide receiver. They took it. Thought for the crack back, and that's going to back Chicago up even more. You know, when Chicago has it's executed, all right. It's all right they, have, uh, they have done pretty well, but they can't uh, keep the laundry off the field. Those yellow flags I'm talking about. Well, John Avery, uh, like you said, picking up yardage with every run, but the uh, penalties are really cost him. Right, base draw one, first down, ready? Avery was a problem child for the Dolphins, number one draft pick. Coach Meyer says he's been a, an honor roll student here thus far for the, for the enforcers. He's a player. Here he goes draw. again. There's a draw play. Look at this guy. Avery will oh, seam, and Avery oh. nailed uh, about the 33-yard line. Third down, baby. Avery nailed Third by long. three. Third long. 
come. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on a third down, a passing down, obviously, you heard the pass play call. 51. Let's see if uh, Lester can connect here. Again, Avery, the lone setback. Four wideouts. Love those backers. Plenty of time. And Avery double off the line. Lester double off to Avery. Love those backers pull on this. With nothing doing. I'm setting in the 25 yard marker. Once the play goes past 25 yards, it's fair game for either team to get it. So here we go. Here comes the punt. Andy Cross and the punter. Get out of here. No fair catches here in the XFL. Ball travels 25 yards, as you heard. It's a free ball. It can be advanced by either team. No fair catch, but the receiver's got to have a, a five yard zone to catch the ball. A high kick that's gone over 25 yards. And the Kick returned by Tony Gaither. Flag down. It may have been a violation of that stone cold zone of five yards. So we'll just take it here. Violation of the five yard halo on the kicking team. The penalty is declined. First down. <laughs> so I, don't, Orlando, I, don't know, I don't know if you want to call it a halo. I call it a danger zone, JR. That was on us. I know they don't got 2-4 on me. You guys know that line? Huh? <laughs> you line it. Come on. I don't think so. Walk it off. Go back. Walk it off. Move it back. Here's a halo. 24 stay Yankee on one. Ready? <laughs> I think after this play, we're going to give the players a chance to identify themselves. Jeff Brown, the quarterback, and Derek Clark is the lone uh, running back. And again, we have a penalty on the play. These teams uh, just getting their... Uh, why it wasn't a five-yard tack on. Because it's a spot ball from where he enters the halo. Yeah. And the run was farther than five yards. Okay, enough. Coach Hall wanted a clarification of the rule, and he got one. Yeah, I don't think we actually have a penalty here. That was... Uh, Line judge just wanted a clarification. Z -Z 24 State Yankee on one. Ready? Let's try this again. Go! Action! Braun, play action. Looking deep. here they retry the ball mark it back to the seven yard line seven yard line What's attempt up? for the extra point now I'd, I'd say this pretty much makes it a passing play do zero nine sixty two twelve angle on ready sounds like a passing play one call by jeff wrong rip 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 go wrong looking to throw 
gets intercepted. Intercepted. The ball can be returned for a score at one point. Oh, hard knockdown by Darren Clark on the uh, interception return. So the most exciting extra point in football. And we have a 51-yard touchdown run and catch by Kevin Swain. Kevin Swain, Kevin Swain, the very first touchdown in Rage history. It sounded like the crowd absolutely loved it. I hope so. I just want to thank God. That's all I wanted to do. All right. Very tired, Kevin Swain. Put the Orlando Rage up 6 0. Naked 5, C-78. Naked 5, C-78. First down, right? on the defense. Right. Holding them. Five yards previous spot, first down. Holding defense. Five yards previous spot, automatic first down. It, it double minds. Yeah. Down right. Down right. So on our right side. Go to the left. Come on, Mark. Don't leg with me, dude. Up left, nine press, first sound. So our touchdown before. Uh, Ready to go again? No. All right, Let's good, go. thank you. Face this way. Okay, suck it up. Up left, nine press, first sound. Ready? Lester back to pass, looking out the flat, finds his tight end uh, for a little or no gain, King. Ty J. Armstrong, who's a load at 6'4", 260. You got that right now. 
He's six four. Of course, Tim Lester, the quarterback, is only six foot tall. Now that's been a knock on Tim a little bit that he's not quite tall enough to see over some of those offensive drag. offensive down, players of his own. But uh, he seems to be moving the ball right here for Chicago. Chicago deep in Orlando territory, trailing by six. Western Miss gets Lester back to pass. Got a man on time. Ball is hit. Oh, almost intercepted by, by Orlando. And uh, I believe old Lester got some, got some uh, grass stains on his backside after that play. Scary feeling for a quarterback when that ball gets tipped. He knows absolutely anything can happen at that point. Ken Anderson putting the pressure on the quarterback. Anderson, 310 pounds, and that brings up a fourth down. Take a look and listen. And across a, a tip of field goal here. Picked up completely, yeah. On the 35-yard 35, 35 line. 35-yard field goal, I should say, that is good. And uh, Chicago responds. Chicago responds. But we have a flag. Goal, but yes, we do have a flag on the play. 75, red, personal foul, throwing a punch. Okay. Uh -oh. We got a good score? Got a you good score. You want to put a CA or what? It's a dead ball. No. No? Carry over here. Okay. But it's a field goal. So they can take the penalty and we go from here? So hold on. Disqualifying. No. No. Okay. No. 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 So it's not a punch. It's a right. personal block. The, the, the field goal will be good and we'll take it to the kick, to the kick right? We got What's somebody throwing number? punches out there, JR. Oh, Sterling Palmer. Oh, Sterling got hot. After the play, unnecessary roughness, 75, defense. The field goal was good. The penalty will be enforced 15 yards on the kickoff. Yeah. Well, the uh, Andy Crossett kicks the field goal and brings his team Chicago to a then three. first here in the XFL. We've already, already had the XFL's first touchdown and the Rick XFL Rick. first player thrown out of a game. And first field goal. Jeff Brown, the quarterback. Nice hole on the left side. Little smash of football. Zero Trey, 960, 212 post. Well, Andy Croslin, a lot of people don't realize in the XFL there's only one kicker on the squad. you got to do double duty, but it looks like you've done pretty good so far. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough doing both, but it uh, keeps you in the game more and more focused anyway. Andy, you not know, a big fan of uh, these fans here in Orlando. Of course, he does play for Chicago. It is the second down. Jeff Braun, the quarterback. Gary Clark, the, uh, the lone running back. Hunt. Braun back to throw. Uh-oh, pins off it. It's intercepted. Chicago, the interception, and they return it down yeah. to the yeah. Orlando 33-yard yeah. line. Section there by Corey Ivy, a former Oklahoma Sooner. <laughs> you love that, don't you, Dare? We got. Let's take another look at this. Tip balls will kill you every time. Well, Brom trying to go back to to Swain, who okay. scored a touchdown earlier. Ivory, right place, right time, and a nice return for the former Sooner down to the 32-yard line of Orlando, where young Tim Lester is back in business. John Avery juking and driving. Avery to the outside. Avery turning the corner. Avery down the sideline and run out of bounds. A five on the play. Well, I think they feel like. 
think he was pushed in the back after he was out of bounds, but this John Avery can make plays. He can make things happen, JR. Kevin McCullough, the linebacker, pushed him out of bounds. Look at Avery. He's, he's trying to quieten this crowd. He won't do it that way, but he will if he keeps oh, making play. plays like that. Let's show him that burst. Let's show him that burst. Unnecessary roughness. Right hit out of bounds. 51. Defense. Yeah, that was. Extracurricular activity. I don't think they're exchanging Christmas card addresses over there. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I was talking to some of these. Uh, Let's listen up. Right. Nine press. Nine one. Ready? Talking to these uh, Orlando defensive players, they were worried about John Avery, and it looks like rightfully so. Balls in the nine yard line. First to go for Chicago. Avery again. Look at this. Avery is. Is a quicker than a hiccup is, is Sean Avery. Hey, Avery, hey, a former number one draft choice like by the Miami like Dolphins. Hey, hey well, he's Asian. Is he Asian? He kind of like Avery. He talks the smack out there. He said he likes it like that. Avery looking to lay the smack down and get in the end zone, and Avery coming out. He hits those holes so quick. 16, first down. Ready? Well, Sean Johnson. Charles Wiley now in the backfield. Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Johnson near the two yard line. It's over, guys. It's over. It's over. Come on, man. Deshaun Johnson, who's battled a lot of odds. He can get the big C, big cancer king. Well, this is a big decision here for Ron Meyer. Jumbo, far left. First down, ready? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Chicago's got their big boys in there now. They're the power running game. Wild Hill fullback, 220. And LaShawn Johnson over 200 pounds. And a power eye. There's the fake. Lester's got room. And Lester's in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Damn, baby. Damn, baby. Damn. Well, being only six feet tall worked to his advantage that time. I think some of those defensive linemen lost sight of him. Well, you've always said the size doesn't matter. Oh. And Ron, motto. Ron oh, Meyer, oh, the head coach of Chicago, not changing hey, his right expression. Hat, right hat. I bet he's a hell of a right poker hat. player. So Orlando now down nine to six. The extra point attempt nine. from the first down, ready? From the two yard line. Again, must be run or thrown. No extra point kicks in the XFL. Little option play. He's in. There's the extra point. There we go. Come on, Joe. LaShawn Johnson. Just up through the ball in the stands. Got the extra point. Some bullshit, dog. Keep down. That's a nice celebration. Maybe he'll throw a ball up here for us. Get in there, baby. We like free stuff. Yeah. Jeff Brown's got to get uh, back to business here. His team down 10 to 6. He had to go get a new, a new football. Corey Ivey's interception really put uh, Chicago in business. And uh, the enforcers of Coach Ron Meyer capitalizing on the turnover now lead 10 to 6. Well, Orlando's going to have to find some way to stop John Avery. I don't know if that's possible, JR. Don't give up a big play. Maybe they need to get these Orlando cheerleaders to try to distract him. Yeah. When they're distracting me, I know that. I thought they might. Oh, there they are. That girl really took a lock into you, too, I heard. Oh, yes. There's Nina on the right. And that's Jay. Hi, Jay. Get oh, out. baby. You don't miss a trick, do you? No, I don't. They call you the king for many reasons. I check out the, I checked out their looks right off the bat. I, I like to see if they look available or not. Brian Shea, backed up running back. Back out, Paul. Back to return the kick. The kickoff of Andy Crossland. Short kick. Shea Fields adjusted by the 15. Oh, man. And Shea up to the 27 or 28 yard line. And you can tell Chicago's a little invigorated. Hit hard by Donald McCall there. They're talking some trash. They're, they're talking some smack. 
I don't really know what smack is. Being from Oklahoma, I don't think anybody out there knows smack is. <laughs> Here we go. Zip zero trips, 14 on one. Ready? This one back offense of Orlando in business at the 28 yard line. Go! Sad hut! Ball given to Derek Clark. Got a little running room. Mark, a, a big man, 6'1, 235. Hip one tray, 19 toss. Hear these plays being called. You're hearing them right through the Hip quarterback's one, helmet. Four. Zip one tray, 19 toss. Someone ready? From the uh, offensive coordinator who's up in the press box, of course. Unlike where we are here outside, amongst them, and we love Go. it. <laughs> Second five for Seven. Jeff Ross. There's the tail to Clark. Can he get outside? Trying to go north and south is big Derek Clark. It's going to come up about a yard short of the first down. Derek Clark, a, the second all-time leading rusher in NFL Europe history. Quick count them and go 115. First down, 115. First down, ready? Lando's going to go on a quick count here. I think that quick count worked. And Derek Clark old, looks like he got the old, first and ten. First down, Dave. Playing one, guys. Playing one. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. The second quarter underway here. Orlando Ball Go. on the Chicago 36-yard line. Set, hunt. Brom, look at the throw. Ball is complete. He's got some running room. the completion and the first down. Bailey played for Coach Galen Hall for the uh, Ryan Fire. Oh, yeah. King, ever been to the Ryan? Hold on. No, Z but I have been on fire before. There's Coach Galen Hall. What the offensive line. 18 years he was the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma. And ball handed off to Michael Black. On the right side, indeed he was, and nice game by. Nice play from Jeff Braun, the number 86 Terrence Houston King, and that's going to give Orlando a first and goal at about the uh, four yard first line. Goal. Well, I love no the excitement here, Jay. Listen to these fans, they love their Orlando rage. and. The range is on the Zero, move. 15, all one, ready? Brown, five of six in the ball game, 83 yards and a touchdown. First and goal Go. for Orlando. They'd love to get Seven. in here and take the lead back again. Hand off it. There's an opening here. Clark. Clark. Is he in? Yes. Oh, He's in. Oh, touchdown. Lead all one ready. Hit it in there. Takes it in from the four yard line and gives uh, his Orlando Rage the lead again. Go! Here's the extra point. Oh, nothing doing there. And Orlando cannot convert the extra point. It is a 12 to 10 Orlando. Chicago Enforcers. Orlando leads 12 to 10 with 11.49 to go in the first half. 12 play 72 yard scoring drive and there's the kick that must be and will be returned by Preston from the five. He's got a seat. Whoa, man. Preston squirted through to the 28.
putting Orlando Rage up 12-10. Now, a lot of Chicago guys are telling this crowd to be quiet after they went up 10-6. Do you have a response to that? Uh, this is a 60-minute game. Uh, you know, we, all we got to do is just keep doing what we're doing and playing hard, and uh, we'll see what the uh, score say at the end of the game. <laughs> Could have said it better myself. No matter who it is, they got to bring him. Tim Lester, the quarterback. The Ball given it back. to Avery. Yeah. Avery hasn't been stopped tonight. And he's not stopped this time before he's run out of bounds at about the 25-yard uh, line. I don't know what it's going to take. Maybe if you gave all the defensive linemen an axe or something like that, they might be able to stop uh, They might be able to stop Avery. Let's go. Hey. Go. Zoom. Trio right, four belly. I won, right? Four belly, JR. They named this play after you. This should be a good one. That's big belly. Oh. It's over, baby. Close to first and ten. Go push that ass, man. But it's going to be third down. <laughs> hey. Hold up. Play soldier. Like Mr. Burgess wants to have a little extracurricular activity there. T wing left. Eight press first down. T wing left. No. Eight press. You do the hot motion. Third down. Three yards to go for Chicago. The ball in their territory. The 37-yard line. John Avery. Avery on the outside. And Avery may have gotten the first and 10 up near the 40-yard line. Come on, here. This John Avery is so Come fast. Come on, here. Give me I've often wondered, Jr. if every one of these players knew everything they were supposed to do on every play, and I think we're finding out that, well, maybe some of this is just a little bit of improvision out there. Off, half left, jab, wide. First and ten for Chicago on Avery's carry. Avery, 11 carries, 59 yards thus far. He has been the workhorse and has yet to be stopped. Lester to Avery. Wow, right down Broadway, and uh, this time the Orlando defense saying no, nothing doing this time. He was stopped. John Avery is finally stopped. You hear those collisions? You hear those hits? This is great. Chicago's offensive line is big. Averaging over 300 pounds across the front. Those men like their groceries. <laughs> Second down and eight. Lester. Pop, pop, bang. Men are wide open. Oh, my gosh. And the ball is dropped by Aaron Bailey. There's a flag on the play. May have been holding on the defense. But Bailey should have caught that football. Well, you saw the look of disappointment on Tim Lester's face. Maybe we'll get to hear what Tim Lester says to uh, that receiver. Oh, that was good. Okay. Hit him. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. Yes. Good throw. Well, the five-yard penalty saved a touchdown. I'll say that because we'll take a look at uh, Lester's reaction. Listen to this as the play ended. He knew he had a touchdown. It's the Harpo Marks reaction. <laughs> I'll just hold my horn. First down. Oh, LaShawn Johnson giving John Avery a breather. And Avery coming back in the game. Uh, no room there for LaShawn Johnson, the former Arizona Cardinal and New York, New York Giant. Patrice Alexander called a defensive signal for Orlando. He's a big middle linebacker at 250. Look at those defensive linemen. They're all huge. Second down and about 11. Lester looking to the beat. Nobody open. Oh, tripped up. And a nice play. A good play by the Rage number hey, 72. He got to give him a chance, though, baby. He got to give him a hey, chance, though. When you get behind those huh? players. Ben Huff, 6'4", 300 pounds, King. 
When you're his size, I don't think you have sizes. You just have you just have X's. And right now he's between a three X and a four X. Now one, ready? I've played football in Michigan. Third down. Oh, it's a big third down here. Timeout. Timeout. And Tim Lester is called a timeout. The the play clock was down to one. He changed the play about four times. So the Orlando lead by two. But can they hold on? Eight minutes, ten seconds to go in the first one, half. Right? Chicago ball. This drive starting their own 29-yard line. Chicago down by two, 12 to 10. Tim Muster, the quarterback. John Avery, the long running back. Avery and Muster. Muster looking to throw. He's got time now. Muster saw it. Muster saw it on it. And it was almost intercepted by James Burgess. And, uh, Receiver wants a penalty, but that defender Burgess was just going for the ball. No play. Oh, baby. Lester has been. There's Nina. JR, that's Nina. Look at that. Listen to this. Wow. And uh, the sounds of the XFL. Andy Cross is coming to kick for Chicago. Ball travels 25 yards with seven halves. It's a live ball. Gonna be returned by Orlando. Oh, he's going the wrong way. North and south, north and south. Oh. Shannon Skinny Culver knows he has to return it. That's the rule here. I know that's the rule, but uh, the uh, way you usually return the route should be towards your uh, north goal line. South, right. Not east and west. Exactly. And Galen Hall. And he's been around the block over 30 years in the football business. So Orlando is uh, going to start this uh, drive on the five yard, their own five yard line. Jeff Brown, the quarterback. Ball handler Michael Black. Black punts a hole and gets up near the 15 yard line, close to first and 10 for the range. This has been a sudden half. XFL rules speeding up the game. Go. It's like microwave X, football. X, zero, 14. X, X, zero, 14, all one. Ready? Sunday they get the Max Cross, and the whole play is going to be broadcast to the crowd here. <laughs> Let's see if Jeff Brom can connect. Set And again, Michael Black carrying the ball to the 19-yard line, Go. gain of four. One of the other rule differences here in the XFL is you can see one offensive player can be in motion towards the line of scrimmage when the ball snaps. Absolutely. Okay. Keep running, keep holding on to it. Here we go. Bears will not use the forward motion, motion until they are outside X the zero, widest down lineman, but bottom line, that one man can be in motion toward the line of scrimmage. Rip, rip. Uh oh, watch go. out. Rip, rip. Set, hut. Michael Black. With a hot skip and a jump to about the 28 yard line. He was zigging and zagging. I think he even Good threw in a zug there. Hold up. Michael Black, a 5'11, 206 pounder, one of the. 117. One of the. One of the. Eight, one of the. 17 on one. Ready for it. Orlando. Matter, ready? Offensive attack. Orlando leading by two. Just under six minutes to go in the first half. Yeah. This direction play, Black starts first right, down. goes left. That's a first. Close, Damon. It's close, here you go. It's close, put it down. Close, Dave, it's close. Well, Bill Duff, I know that uh, you're a huge WWF fan, but right now you're concentrating on the XFL. Have you guys figured out what Chicago's doing on defense? X, zero. On offense, you mean? Yeah, we're, I'm a defensive player. <laughs> What they're doing is they're running the ball and we got to stop them. If we don't stop the, the run, it's going to be a long day. We're just going to bear down and stop the run, you know, get out to their ass. 
I love it. Built up. You know what? He should just knock Jonathan Coachman out. Just one punch. I would love it. And a Brian Shea runs the ball up the gut. Nice gain right down the offensive line of Orlando. Seems to be pushing Chicago around a little bit, King. Well, that's what they need to do. They need to hang on to this ball, move it right down the field. Range offensive line playing with a little bit of attitude here with uh, four and a half minutes to go in the in the first half. Brom looking to throw. And that puts a smile on the faces of these thousands of fans here in Orlando. You know, Lawrence Hart Hello. is a concert pianist. And he just tickled the ivories, I think. <laughs> Let's take another look at it. He's wide open. Make sure he's he makes, making sure he gets that first down. Lawrence is a load at 6'4, 260. Big size tight end. First and ten. Ball inside the 40-yard line of Chicago. Braun quick pitch to Brian Shea. And Shea stays on his feet across the 35-yard line. You talked about Galen Hall and all his yep. years of experience. You look at the entire coaching staff of Orlando, and total together, they have 222 seasons of coaching experience. They don't have Gatorade and a coach's judge. They got Sheriff Hall. <laughs> they got experience, no doubt about it. Brian Shea from Emporia State. What a Go. great story he is. Send him. Play action. Braun looking to throw. Get all day. All day long. Wide open. Oh, my gosh. Wide open, Muriel Bailey. Muriel Bailey out of bounds at the two-yard line. When you got that much time, somebody's got to be open. Get it all up. And all day long. And Muriel Bailey found the open spot. Was running free. Play Here we go. For the hometown the ball. Orlando Rams. Jim Zero, 17, all one. Ready? I'm just wondering what it's going to take all to put one. a smile Go on the face of Coach Galen Hall. A buffet, hey. a smorgasbord. Hey. Go. Hey, hey y'all get over here. Get over here. And the Talk umpire calls the penalty. White. You got to watch white. the trick play. Yeah. They're going to try to go on, deep on us. And they got to watch the trick play. Watch for the trick play. The screen. Chicago has the called screen, a timeout. The screen, the draw, the reverse. You know what I'm saying? Reverse pass. So all that there. Orlando right. is threatening. Orlando hey. leads by two. But can they score here? Well, even though Mario Billy number five was held, as you'll see here at the top left part of your screen, right there. Hell, that's a mugging. Look at this, and he still gets wide open. Brom had all day to throw ball to one yard line. Back to live action now. Jeff Brown, the quarterback. Derek Clark, the big running back, gets the handle. Oh, tripped up. But nothing doing this time. Big play, big play by number 53, Jamie Baisley, the linebacker. Three minutes to go in the first half. Orlando leading 12 to 10, and they are threatening once again here. Taking no pressure with three down line. Go! Quick count. Oh, nobody. Nowhere to go. Great penetration that time by Casey Daly. And Casey Daly just put somebody's butt on the on the Orlando right side of their offensive line. Well, that quick count didn't fool anybody. And listen to these hits. Man. Bailey fell in his hole, but it was Casey Daly that made the play. And a Jeff Braun for the third down. Ball on the two-yard line. Braun looking to throw the fade. Need a laxative. <laughs> I have one line back on the ground right here. Just, uh, okay. I'm out of here. Uh, 14 got ripped. I'm out of here. So no kicking the extra point in the XFL. You should have that by now. Ball will be snapped to the Zero. two yard line. Zen. I think I'd run 14. the same play again. 
What the fuck's that? What the what? I think we have a timeout on the play. That was a 95-yard drive. 11 what, plays. What do you want? Take reverse. He won 14. Fourteen. He said a, a zen with a fake zen. reverse. Zen fourteen and fake the reverse to deep. Okay. All right. Yeah. You don't. Th okay. You don't think they're going to hit the gap from here? Zen zero fourteen. I think the quarterback is questioning the call. Yeah. I think they're going to hit the gap. No, 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 zen no. zero fourteen fake reverse. So just zen to about two yards. From the tight end, I'm gonna hand off and go back behind me. Mario Bailey, Coach Galen Hall said that you would be the go-to guy, and you set up that huge touchdown. Tell us about that play. Uh, I came open late, and Jeff had time back there, found me and hit me. I should have scored a touchdown, but as long as we made an end zone, everything's okay. Well, tell me about the excitement of being here for this very first game in Orlando history and being such a huge part of it. Oh, uh, this is fantastic. I didn't think we'd have a crowd like this, but I hope we have it like this every week. Real quick, it looks like you hurt your hamstring. Are, are your injured going to be able to go back in the game? Uh, I could never stop playing. I wouldn't miss this for the world. All right. You, now, you've won many, many championships in your day. Are you ready for another one right here in Orlando? Uh, it's a guarantee that we're going to bring that championship to Orlando. Zen zero <laughs> fourteen fake reverse. Wow. My mom is here. I, I told her not to, yeah. told her to shave. Uh, Jerry, her cousin showed up. <laughs> Mario Bentley got us down to the one yard line, and Derek Clark ran it or the pass to uh, Delio Burks on the fade. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Zen Makes zero. it 18 to 10, oh, 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 Orlando. Fake reverse, all one, ready? Oh. During the commercial break, right the quarterback was not sure about this play kick. I think he actually questioned the coach's call. Let's see, let's see who's right here. Fake reverse, and uh, nothing doing. Didn't fool anybody. Two inside gaps filled nicely by Chicago, so the lead is 18 to 10. Orlando up by eight with a minute 55 to go in the first half of this first ever XFL game in Orlando. Short yard is freaking yeah. We can't. They're, they're right in there. Well, you hear him. That's Open exactly what Jeff Brown told the coach during the commercial hey, break guys, that he thought those gaps were going to be filled hey, and they weren't. Out. All right, pin them back, get them deep. Statement, make a statement now. Let's go. Have y'all tried to give me any fakes on the line? Yeah, it's so loud, they okay. might jump off sides. Yeah. Okay. Galen Hall has I'm been there, done that, seen it, get it all, the ball done back. it all. Get it back, we'll score again. We'll finally settle down. Well, Jeff, it looked it's like you and the coach were a little at odds over what play you're going to run. Did you get, were you guys on the same page on that last play? We were. We were just trying to uh, put it through the uh, end zone there in um, short yardage, and they kind of shot the gaps, and we couldn't get it in. The politically correct answer from the quarterback. Jeff Brown wants to start next week, so he's not going <laughs> to cross uh, Galen, but there was a difference of opinion on that play. In any event, Jay Taylor will kick off for Orlando. Ball kicked off in the XFL. Listen to the noise here. Line. This is great. A lot of noise in Orlando. This whole stadium is shaking. They're doing the wave. They're up by eight on the rage. It's the XFL. Football.
but he fumbled it. Much to the delight of over 30,000 fans here in Orlando. Oh, baby, come on! First down. These Orlando Rage XFL cheerleaders are, oh, they're beautiful. Z, zero tray. Here's another look. Three moment. Ready oh, the fumble. The tight end, not used to carrying the ball, at least in that position. Fumbles the ball, and it was recovered by Orlando. Yep, Jeff Brown's got a minute 45 to get it done here. The ball on the 30-yard line. Brown back to pass. He wants it all. Brown looking to the end zone. Got all day. Got all off, but over the head of Derek Clark. Actually, Derek Clark, he didn't time his leap just exactly right. He jumped just a little too soon. Brom, again, had all day to throw the ball. Hack to zero tray. 70, rocket left. All one, ready? Orlando wants the yeah. score here. Minute 38 to go in the half. They lead by Rip, eight. Rip. Great opportunity here go. after the fumble on the kickoff. Again, Brom back to pass. And uh, has to... It's going to be thrown away, and there cannot be pass interference behind the line of scrimmage. And uh, Derek Clark, who's been playing even at Evangel, where he played college ball, that's the same rule, Kate. I know that. I'm just glad you pointed it out. It up now, 25 home, baby. And a pass interference. Crack screen right. Here we go. Legal court pass. Crack screen right. On one, ready? Crack screen right. This could be big. You, you, you. Go! Oh man, pressure is live and have to throw it away. Great pressure on Brom by Jamie Baisley, the 246 pound linebacker. Well, Jeff Brom told me before the game that he expected Chicago to blitz a lot. That, I don't know if that was a blitz, but that was the best pressure they've had on Jeff Brom all night. Bailey out of Indiana. Brings up fourth down. And we're going to see how well Jake Taylor does kicking the field goals. He was kicking 50 plus yarders in warm up today. Number 53, Jamie Baisley. Looks like he's about to lose his lunch there. Jake Taylor played collegially at West Virginia. And there's a timeout. We don't have much, much time between plays if you're not ready to get the special teams out there. What, what, what happened out there? You got to go to the ball. It's funny. Hey, you want to punt? It's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah, let's kick it. Yeah. yeah okay, get it up in the air. Hey, let's kick it. Hey, got him to protect. Now let's go. Well, they have a little caucus, and the uh, four on screen. the vote came back with kicking it, and no recount here in Florida. No recount on the vote here. I think the players outvoted the coach, and looks like we're going to go for a field goal. The ball will be snapped from the 30-yard line, kick from the 37, making it a 47-yard field goal. These players, these uh, players want to score some points. They know you're not going to score on a punt, and they want to win this game because they're going to get paid more money over, if you man. win than if you lose. $2,500 bonus to the each winning member of each team. It's what about a 47-yarder? Ball goal. Ball oh, that goal. looks good. Ball goal. It is long enough. Ball. Virginia Mountaineer. Wait a minute, Galen almost smiled. I almost saw a smile there. I think he smelled a hot dog. <laughs> With over 35,000 fans looking on in Orlando, Chicago quarterback Tim Lester completes only a second pass of the game. It's the dump off to John Avery. The awesome John Avery makes a huge cut. He lays the smack down, like poor smoke through the keyhole, and scores! And the second half about to get underway. Orlando leading 21 to 16, Coach Galen Hall. Still King hasn't cracked a smile. 
Let me go down there and tell him a joke or two. Think that would help? I don't think he has a sense of humor. <laughs> Maybe after the game, if he wins, they'll smile. Galen can't be happy with that last touchdown scored by Chicago. It was only the second completed pass of the first half by Chicago's Tim Lester, who until that play king had been pathetic throwing the ball. Yeah, but that one big play went for 68 yards to John Avery and a touchdown. Brian Shea, who played uh, Division II ball at Emporia State in Kansas, is back to receive for Orlando. He can't wait. And Andy Cross's kick is high, taking it to the 10-yard line. And Shea's got a hole. Shea's going to, he went, oh, man, he's caught for the last man that could catch him. And the emotion of Brian Shea with a big-time kickoff return, putting Orlando right back in business, King, with great field position. Boy, right up the middle. I thought he was going to bust that one wide open. Let's take a look at it again. Watch it from his, his point of view there. As you see, that hole opens up. Oh, maybe if he'd have just cut to the right. Ross and the kicker had to make the tackle. And you don't like to see that happen if you're a, a Chicago fan. Go! Set it! Jeff Brown, the quarterback. There's the toss to Derek Clark. And a 235 pounder turns north and south. And gains a first and 10. To about the 40-yard uh, line. 15 bounce. Hello. Derek Clark, you said a big running back. This guy's got some size on him. Clark 6'1, 235. 15 taking bounce. Himself, Ready for it. himself out of the game. And uh, Michael Black replaces him. Rip, rip. Go. Set Man in motion. Oh, no. Don't give the black. There you go, buddy. Big nice there play go, there buddy. by number there go, 97. Buddy. Yeah. There you go. And Jason Chorak, he read that play all the way and was in the Orlando backfield. There you go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, Jason. War over. H1 60. War over. On one. Ready? Chorak played collegially at Washington. 6'4", 255 pound, a little undersized on the defensive rip, 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 rip. Uh, side of the ball. Well, the war is supposed to be over after this play. Let's see. Brom looking to throw, and the pass is complete over the middle to Mario Bailey, but there is a flag down on the play. The hell is spot. Mario Bailey caught two balls in the first half for 47 yards. alert. One, 15 alert, on one, ready? I thought there was a flag down, apparently no flag. Shot, they waved it off. No harm, no foul. Rip, rip. Go! Set, Here's the blitz coming. Yes, sir, they got him! Oh! And Brown goes go, down. Yeah, that, baby, yeah. that outside blitz by the linebacker, Casey Daly. Casey Daly's made a couple That's of big plays about, here tonight. Baby. Daily for Northwestern. Hey, look and listen. XFL style. There you go, Daly. Yeah, baby, yeah. When you're a quarterback and you get hit like that, it sounds like there's a dice game going on inside your mouth. Jay Taylor back to kick on fourth down for Orlando, who leads by five. And there's a, another penalty on the play. Like one of the... Uh, Chicago enforcers jumped offside. Well, that's not a very bright play. At least uh, it won't get the uh, Orlando team you, a first and ten. You're on the punt return. Hey, Casey Daly here for the old Come on. You're on the punt. All right. I love this. We can hear the coach, but we can't hear the official. What was the foul? It was a dead ball off sides on the de defense. Still fourth down, nine to go. And uh, again, take Taylor back to kick. Royal Preston, number 87, deep to receive for Chicago. Remember, the kick travels 25 yards. It is a live ball. No fair catch. Nice high kick. No fair catch. Preston's got to run it out. 
He's to the goal line. Oh, it just gets out over the goal line, maybe the one or two yard line. A hell of a kick by Jay Taylor and great coverage by Brian Shea. Brian Shea is all over the place. He's full of himself tonight. Brian Shea, 5'8", 207, but a hellacious kick by Taylor. What do you always say about the size of the dog, JR? Size of the fighting the dog, and there you see Brian Shea. He doesn't realize he's 5'8". He's playing like he's 8'5 right now. Listen to these fans make some noise. John Avery taking the ball off. There it is! Safety! And did they get out of the end zone? That's a safety! I don't think so. The spot is on the field of play at about the one yard line. Avery took a deep handoff. Wait a minute, is that the end zone? You're telling me that's not a safety? Let's go. Oh, come on! The crowd doesn't like it, and maybe, maybe the call stunk. I don't know. I don't like it. Touches the ball up near the five yard line. Boy, these guys are hitting down there, JR. This is great. Let's go. Zoom right, oh. safe draw one. Okay. Make it happen now. Zoom, zoom right, face draw one. I want right. This would be a big first down for Chicago if they can get it. Ball on the five yard line. Chicago needs six for a first and ten. I think he's calling an audible. There's a draw to Avery. That's a play. Nothing to do there. And there. Great defense. Big defense play by number 41. We're going to get good field now. Let's go. Now let's go. Oh, John Avery upset at his own player. Sam yeah, it there in his way. That's how you do it. Jalar from Ball That's State. Hey, I got the hole. Hey, I was into the house. <laughs> Bad snap, bad I love, snap. I love Don't the sounds shit. of the XFL. Andy Carlson will kick from his own end zone. This is going to give Orlando great field position any way you look at it. Tony Gaither back there, return the kick. Short kick, short kick to the 38-yard line. Pete, oh, skinny, skinny cover. I love skinny cover. Look at the legs. Last time I saw legs like that, they had a message tied to them. Chicago down by five to Orlando. Oh, 24 to go in the third quarter. The Rage leads Chicago 21 to 16. Orlando ball and King, I know you like that. I'm about to have a stroke. Rip. Jeff Brom, the quarterback Go. for Orlando, calling signal. And the toss is back to Brown. Out of black. Oh, no, buddy. Any color Fuck you want to call shit, him black, buddy. brown, or blue. No. They'll all be black and blue no. tomorrow. Not much no. going on there on that carry. Don't run that shit now. I'm going to hit him that hole up, baby. Here's a look at the scoring on tonight's ball game. And it was uh, Kevin Swain who scored the first touchdown of 51 yard uh, reception. Chicago uh, responded with two scores. To make it uh, 12 to 10. And then you see Clark Burks with a field goal. Another field goal by Taylor. And then King the big one from Avery. And that brings us to where we are now. Orlando 21, Chicago 16. Brown back to pass. Oh, tip ball. Ball tip. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't know, we, we had that, a, a couple of red jerseys in the same on, area there. Come on, Lawrence, he threw it to you, so. Come on, Lawrence, he threw it to you, so. It's starting to rain yeah, here in Orlando, and that ball is probably a little bit slippery. You got to have everything. Hey, we need the fear guy up here, too. Gun, gun, H-0, 60, speed, war, all one, ready? That last intended for the tight end, Lawrence Hart, who was scolded by his teammates. Rip, rip. Go! Michael Black, the running back. Jeff Braun, number 11, looking to throw. Got time. Man, look at the man. Touchdown. Touchdown. Orlando. Dario Burks. Oh. Jeff Braun had all day to throw the ball. Nice ball, Jeff. 
Here it is. Good job. And the young man good job. from Louisville, Brown Damio Burks, for the touchdown. Somehow Burks is getting wide, Zero, wide open. 960, 919 post. On one, ready? They need it one, nine post. Okay. Orlando needs to pick up this extra point. Rip, 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 rip. Ball Go. snap from the two-yard line in the XFL on this extra point. Problem to throw. There's the fade. Oh, it is broken up. Broken up at the last second. Nice defensive play by Chicago. That pass was a little I'll short. A little if it had been a little bad. longer and over the, over the receiver's shoulder, that would have been a completion. Well, the big touchdown pass to Daniel Burks and Jeff Brown. The Rage Elite 27-16. Yeah, How exciting was it to score your first touchdown here in the XFL? Oh, it's very exciting. I hope for many more to come. All right, thank you very much. Here you go, girls. Cheerleaders a little wet here, King. A little shower here in Orlando, where the Rage lead 27 to 16 over Chicago. I hope it rains harder. I want to see, I want to see mud in these players' noses and their mouths, and I want to see, I want to see the cheerleaders with wet t-shirts. Number one. Yes. Themselves, but John Avery may have something to say about that. You better believe it. Go! First and ten, Orlando Rays. Jeff Brown, three step drop. Quick out, completed pass again to number four, Kevin Swain, who scored the first touchdown in XFL history in the first quarter, a 51 yard. Zero, 960 combo. John Avery. But uh, your results have not. Yeah, I know that, man. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse before it get better. I'm sorry, Orlando. <laughs> it's gonna get worse before it get better. It really is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, at least, at least he's apologizing. And there's a dump off to Brian Shea from Brom. Well, you know, 
John's mama raised a nice young man. <laughs> well, I'm afraid he may be right. It's got to be a little bit disheartening, not only to the fans here, but to these players on Orlando Rage. They they do a long, sustained drive down the field and score, and then Avery comes back and lights it up just in one play. Z1, 15 on one. Ready? Jeff Brown, 12 and 17, 201 yards, three touchdowns in one pick here tonight. Go! We all make this. Oh, man. Brian Shea sends some playing time. We've called his name on the special teams. Can you hear those hits down there? Hell yeah, baby. I'm going to need your mom's pussy. Good job. Good job, man. A little oh, smash mouth, slobber knocking football oh, here tonight two, in Orlando. Two, this is what it, XFL is H all about. One, this is what we want to see. All one, ready? Let the rain come on. Let the field get muddy. Down and dirty football. That's what the XFL is all about. Rip, 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 rip. Go. Brock, give the ball to Clark. And Clark ran, ran, ran right over Baisley. Who is that? Uh, hey, no, I'm telling you, I went inside. He bit, he stepped in, Corey stepped in, he bounced out. I'm right there. If he, if he come in, I'm going to make a play. Corey stay outside. Basically, that, uh, that play was counted. Considered one of the best the defenders on the he, he, Chicago side of the ball. First, all one, ready? Gun, gun, gun. I don't exactly know who all we're hearing talking, but there is a lot of rip, talking rip, rip, going rip, on on the rip, field. Rip. Go. Yo, nothing, man. Set, hut. <laughs> Ron back to pass. Pressure. And uh, nobody there this time. That's going to bring up a fourth down. As the rain uh, continues to fall here, a little light drizzle certainly has not dampened the spirits of 35,603 that have uh, joined us here at the Citrus Bowl here in Orlando. The rain is not affecting them, but John Avery of the Chicago Enforcers has put a little bit of a damper on this crowd. I think they're afraid to let that ball get back into the hands of that Chicago offense, but it's going to happen right now. Jay Taylor. The, the punt. Nice high kick. No fair catch. Got to be returned from the six-yard line. It's Royal Princeton trying to get outside. He turns a corner and it pushed outside. And there is another play. I think it was an aggressive late hit. And there may be almost a little fight there on the, uh, on the sideline. Well, it's a good close game. And these, these, these players want to win. There's $2,500 extra bonus money for each one of these players at stake here, JR. And the quarterbacks make 50 grand for the season. All other players make 40 except the kicker who makes 35,000 for the 10 game season. $2,500 to the, uh, got a personal foul here, $2,500 bonus for the winning member of each, of, the, of, the, uh, of each team. I might punch somebody in the mouth for 2,500 bucks. Listen to this uh, attitude here. Listen to this audio here, yeah, XFL really style. <laughs> Quite nice. I think he asked uh, Brom how his, how his mother was doing. Lester back to throw. Hits a tight end. Number 85, Willie Tate. And a good open field tackle by the Orlando defender. Eight special. What? Omar Brown made the tackle. Eight special. Let's go. Hack wing right. Eight. Play clock down to 20. Yeah, all right. Omar Brand from North Carolina making that last stop. Look at Avery, seven yards deep in the backfield. There's a toss. Avery wearing number 22. He hits. He ties. He finds a hole. He finds a seam. He squeezes through it. And Avery up near the first down marker. And then he carries guys with him. Avery's like trying to tackle a water bug. <laughs> Give me heavy then. Is it inside one? Avery having an amazing game. 18 carries, 143 yards for John Avery. Well, it seems like they're going to Avery on almost every play, but you know, if you got a cannon, you got to fire it. 
Rashawn Johnson giving Avery a break here. Johnson, and there's a... Got a timeout. Chicago calling the timeout. The play clock got down to one. Yeah. Lester looks like Obi Taylor. There with about 10 seconds left. I know. He's <laughs> got to get it two yards. Yeah, well, we can go hard count, coach. And just, well, so we haven't gone on two else. yet. I'll get him off. Saying now, do we have a flag or do we not have a flag? I think 
No, wrong. Had some heat on him. He did. Come here, come here, come here, come here, It's on offense. We're on the 25, so we're going to go to the 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Down. 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 Italy on the offense. We know that much. What is it? That's force like conduct. On the bench, half the distance of the goal line, second down. On the bench? What they do on the bench? What is that, like a technical foul in basketball? What happened? On the bench, is that one of the coaches are mouthing at the official or something? Second down, good. Second down. Coach Ron Meyer would like that to be a loss of down. He wants, he wants it all, doesn't he? Not tonight. They keep it on the ground, but nothing doing there. there. Go, and the there you Chicago go, there you defense go. playing inspired football. There you there go, 14 there you go. to go in the game. There you go. Some good hard hitting down there on the field. Chicago starting to get really fired up now. I think they feel it. 30 cover two. 50 drop. I love you. Good job, Sauce. That is a mountain of a man there. Sasa, 6'5", 330, playing nose tackle, and look for the draw Rizzo. here. Go! Set! There's the draw on him, the black. Missed half the run run, Vince is outside. And Michael Black advances the ball to the 26-yard line before he goes out of bounds. Still not enough for a first down. Orlando's going to have to punt. This is what's really tough here with just uh, 35 seconds between plays to get the special teams on the field. It, you got to move. Can't burn no daylight in the XFL. Jay Taylor's had a good night. Back to punt. And a booming kick. Wow, what a kick. Driving Roel Preston back to the 18-yard line. We have a flag. Roel Preston trying to get out. By Orlando. But the field, the line judge laid his laundry down. Uh, get ready to go. Well, I got eight. Oh, I call. Yeah. Tell him, get him to play. We both got to go. They pass it on. Yeah, if the flyer was trying to get away from him, you got him by the face. Go away, guys. Go away. Would you go away? Regular. Officials want to be alone. Okay, we're going back now. We're going to on the same. It's a close possession. Right? Are you going to post, you got a different post possession than the, uh, the Hopper book? Because there's a Hopper book that comes back. Ball hadn't been kicked. Yet. Oh, it's before the kick? Yes. Up there, not before the line. Okay, so we're coming back here. Okay, okay. 15 yards. Get right? it right, boys. Ball's going to come back. This happened before the kick. Exactly. Prior to the kick. Personal foul. Face pass. Other defense, oh. 15 yards, previous spot. Results in the first down. This is huge. huge! What a call there! What a dumb mistake by Chicago! And a huge break for Orlando. Oh, it's gonna go, it's gonna go against you guys. The, the face mask down. was before the, the kick. So it's yeah. during the down. They call. Ron Meyer. Ron Meyer wants to know who that was called on. So Orlando will retain the football. Okay. They get the 15 yards. Yeah. Which will result in a first and 10. Man, that's a heartbreaker here from Chicago. You don't have to go. No, no, no. Still what? no smile from, from no, Galen Hall. I don't think Galen's going to smile until he eats supper tonight. <laughs> if he wins. Go! Give it to the big horse, Derek Clark, from Little Evangel College in Missouri, 6'1", 235. And Clark has gained 51 yards on 12 carries tonight. Well, I'm sure that sure that Orlando would love to run that ball and run that clock out, but Brown's been pretty successful passing so far tonight. I'd air it out if I were them. I don't think this lead is safe. No doubt about that. 
anybody's ball game. Rom, 12 and 19, 201 yards, three touchdowns. Go! And Braun hands it off again to his big running back, Derek Clark. And Clark running like he means it. He wants that $2,500 bonus tonight, King. Each and every one of these guys wants that big, that big money for winning this game tonight. Third down. This play is taking a long One time three, to come nine, in. 60, 9 two, two, angle. Owen, ready? Hurry up, Jeff. We're under 10 seconds on the play clock. Liz, 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 Liz. Down to five. Set, hut. Barely gets it off. Brom with pressure. Brom scrambling to his left. And Brom runs out of bounds. No. No gain. That is not the XFL way, as Brom took the easy way out, stepped out of bounds, and that's going to bring up a fourth down, so Chicago will finally get the ball back, trailing by five. Well, on a play like that to Jeff Brom, it's not about winning, it becomes about surviving. And you notice Brom went out of bounds, the clock continues to run. We ain't burning no daylight in the XFL. Taylor gets the kick away, and another, another boomer, and Ruel Preston inside his five. But we have another flag, and Preston down just outside his own 10-yard line at the 12. I think we may have run, oh, roughing the kicker on, on Chicago. And this, this is a huge play here if it goes against Chicago. An eligible kicker downfield, left and point of kick from the 46. Five yards in the end of the run, first down. Well, finally, the, uh, of course, the kicking team cannot lead the line of scrimmage until the ball is kicked in the XFL. Let's get a turnover! We have got us a football game, XFL style. Orlando up by five. and hog heaven with these uh, Orlando cheerleaders. And we got a hell of a ball game here. Fourth quarter, just over 11 minutes to go. Orlando leading 27 to 22, King. Uh, you're here for the football, JR. I'm here for the cheerleaders. Oh, check them out. They're all the rage. Okay, good. So that's good. And a quarterback change has been made for Chicago. And Avery gets a carry. Lester has been taken out of the ball game. Falilla has been the replaced, has replaced Lester at quarterback. Good job. Over 35,000 fans, 35,603 to be exact. And a little drizzle here in Florida. And that little drizzle has certainly not put a damper on these Orlando Rage fans. Lester back in the ball game. The kid from Western Michigan. He's a long way from Kalamazoo. Second down and nine. Chicago needs to score. Wide open. Lester completes the pass to Ryan Yarborough. Yarborough out of Wyoming, making his first catch of the ball game. And Tim Lester King, not known for his arm. Lester's only six of nine in this ball game for 94 yards thus far. Well, Chicago's offense is not known for its passing. It's known for John Avery. He's been the difference maker in this game. I'd give the ball to Avery. Avery wore number 20 in the first half. It was torn off of him. He's wearing 22. Lester back to throw. Oh, first off. And there's a hit. Michigan, Ben Huff sacks the quarterback, and that was a huge defensive play. Big Ben Huff comes through for Orlando. Listen up. He got in the huddle with nine seconds left. I know, I know, I know. He did a good job. Chinese fire drill when that's what happened. <laughs> I love it. Chinese fire drill here in the XFL. And he crossed him back to kick. He'll get the kick away at about his five. The left footer with a line drive kick. It's a live ball, 45-yard line. 
Oh, yes. Oh, Skinny Culver from Oklahoma State. But not much of a return. And now we've got 9.22 left in this football game. Orlando has the ball back and a five-point lead. Oh, I love the XFL. I love America. It's the land of milk and honeys. Hello, honey. Oh. Jeff Brom has gone all the way for Orlando. 12 and 19, 201 yards, three touchdowns, Go. and one pick. A handoff to Michael Black, who cannot, he cannot turn the corner. But he does stay in bounds as if it mattered in the XFL. Come on, Mike, you better hit that, baby. Yeah, I need I need a little bit of freedom, baby. Of course, you saw the man in motion in the that last play, that is legal. One man can go toward the line of scrimmage prior to the snap. He smashed over. Owen, ready for it? In the XFL. This may be my favorite play. 60, smash over. Rip, rip. Go. Sad hut. Man in motion. Oh, pressure. Time to throw. Ooh. Completed Ooh. pass. Bitch. The Delio Burks. And Burks with a short game, control passing game here, employed by Coach Galen Hall. Uh, you can see the disappointment on the face of Dalio Burks. He wanted more out of that play, but... Here we go. H, H, uh, H, zero, 60, smash over. Uh, Burks has caught three balls zero, tonight. 60, smash over. Oh, my, ready? Gun, 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 gun. Here's your play again, King. 60, smash over. It goes with smash mouth rip, rip, football rip, rip. here in the XFL. Go! Sad hut! The motion man to the line of scrimmage is legal. The same play to the other side. Oh, looks intercepted. Oh, looks intercepted God, by Matt Pickus. Yeah. A ball in and out of Pickus' hands. And the big kid from Ohio State wishes he had that one over. Well, you can tell by the looks of this guy. He's not a pass catcher, JR. Oh, he's a linebacker. <laughs> he's a slobber knocking linebacker. Matt Pinkus. They turn out some great football players from Ohio State. And again, Jason Taylor is called on to pin Chicago deep in their territory. And I think the play clock has expired. No, we have a timeout prior to the play clock expiring. Coach Galen Hall. You're right. No, okay. And Coach Ron Meyer. Well, they're involved in a in a tough one here. Could go either way. They are five point different with seven minutes and 32 seconds to go. We can stand the penalty next time. Yeah, we could have got some. All right. You hear Coach Galen Hall saying he would have rather taken the penalty than lose that timeout. Well, these timeouts are precious. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Again, the hunting team cannot leave the line of scrimmage until the ball is snapped. You know that the ball goes 25 yards. It is a free ball. It can be recovered by the kicking team and advanced. Boy, I love being right on the sideline, listening to these coaches talk to their players. You heard Coach Ron Meyer say, don't make any mistakes. And Chicago has made some dumb mistakes tonight. Royal Preston deep to receive for Chicago. They are down by five with seven and a half minutes to go in this football game. High short kick. It is a live ball. No fair catch. Preston on the two. And Preston on the scene. It looked like he had some room. We got a flag down. Maybe a face mask on Orlando. Can you hear the contact? Don't you love it, JR? These guys are hitting. They're playing for their $2,500 bonus. They ain't no bonus babies here. They're playing for the love of the game. And a little bit of money. 54, 5 on the end of the run. Violation of a two five yard halo, number 54, five yards from the end of the run. First down. Ain't no halos in hell. And that is the demilitarized zone there, in my view. Man, what a football game. Chicago's got the ball back oh. deep in the fourth quarter, but they're down by five.
We are back. Keith, what just happened? Well, I got a 15-yard penalty for roughing the cheerleader during the break. All right. What a ball game we have here. Chicago ball. And a football on the play. And a football on the play. And Chicago gets the ball back, it looked like. That's John Avery. The story of this ball game for the enforcers has been John Avery. Avery, 22 carries, 148 yards. He's caught two balls for 72 yards Eight, and a touchdown. 79, I won, right? And no lack of confidence in John Avery either. He's telling his, his teammates on the sideline, just give me the ball, I'll do it again. Tim Lester out of Western Michigan, the quarterback for Chicago. Ball in the 20-yard line, second down. Play action. Oh, slip. Lester throws. Well, Tim Lester, he slipped right there, and I think that was the difference in this pass. A ball under prom. Oh, what a hit that was. And Sean Banks with a return. Nice play by Banks. Banks played at Texas Tech in the Big 12. Orlando in business here. It's going to be a huge series for Orlando. Ron, look at the throw. He's got all day. In the end zone. Oh! years to throw. <laughs> you heard Jeff Brock say he had eight years to throw that one. Oh, yes. Burks out of Eastern Kentucky has had a hell of a game here. Five catches, 53 yards, three touchdowns. Orlando up now 33 to 22. No extra point kicks in the XFL. Ball spotted on the two-yard line. The 235 pounder he got a count fucking had nowhere to go. We'll take another look, King. Got a big play. And Jeff Brom had all day hats off to the offensive line. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four seconds to throw that one. Somebody had to be open. And that was six for Diallo Burks. Big play at 35,603. Banks, you could not have picked a better opportunity, a better time to have the interception. Uh, it was just a blessing from God, and I was able to get a good read on the ball. And the D-line was putting pressure on the quarterback, and I think he threw it off his back foot, and I just got a good read on it and caught it. Just ran as fast as I could. <laughs> just run as fast as you can. That's all you have to do. That's what you're paid to do, young man, and you may be $2,500, sir. Find $2,500 more in your pocket after this ball game because the winners here get an extra $2,500 bucks in their paycheck. And that means a lot to these guys. You dog gone. I mean, high. they're not making a lot of money. I saw one of these uh, one of these Orlando players putting a Big Mac on layaway. So they need that extra $2,500 bucks. Well, Jay Taylor's making $3,500, and we're still waiting on Galen Hall to smile. I don't think Ron Meyer's going to smile until he gets back to Chicago. You know what the temperature is in Chicago? I don't think he'll be smiling when he gets back there either. He may want to stay here in Florida. Jay Taylor played collegiately at West Virginia and Roel Preston from Mississippi back to receive the kick. We need a big play for the enforcer. Oh no! Ball oh. in and through the end zone. One of the, the only time we don't have to return the kick. It went untouched through the end zone. Galen Hall just wants those, those final minutes to tick off this clock. He would love to get his very first win here in the XFL tonight. God, this has been a fun ball game. Six minutes to go. Bring go, all right? In the fourth Bring quarter. Go. First down. Bring go offense, all right? And Tim Lester yeah, was, right now, yeah. he was teaching high school Pass math. Left, 93 Fox on snap, right? In Wheaton, Illinois. 93 Fox, that's a rough for you. Well, a lot of, a lot of dumb penalties for Chicago. 
Seven penalties for 52 yards and a fumble that led to a score for Orlando by Chicago tonight. And that last interception, Lester back to throw. No, Lester can't find anybody. And Lester throws the ball. And Lester got up close and personal with that man who has played a, a, a darn good game, Ken Anderson. Now, come on, we don't need these Orlando fans calling Tim Lester a, a sissy. Anderson, an old Arkansas Razorback. They say he weighs 310. His left butt cheek weighs 310. That's right. Gun, 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 gun. I was going to say Lester was teaching high school math in Wheaton, Illinois, when he, he hooked up with the uh, Chicago Enforcers. But he had a great career in Western Michigan. Draw play. The draw. Avery. Going nowhere. And Avery nailed look for number no gain by James Burgess. I think Orlando has finally got Avery's number. You know, I like James Burgess, undersized linebacker at 235. But he don't know he's only 235. I think, I think John Avery wants him to run the screen. Burgess talks that trash like the rock because they both went to Miami. A gun. He got a gun. Draw zero. That's turned the shotgun. Needs to make something happen. Throws it to Avery. He's made it happen all night long. And Avery catches his third pass. Now, Lester back in the shotgun. Since he's so short, is that like a sawed-off shotgun or what? I think he might be right. Lester, <laughs> six feet, maybe. 200 pounds. Not, not that six feet is short, but when you're when you're playing behind linemen that are like six seven and six eight, then it's kind of short. I didn't hear what he said, so I said off half right. I mean, I I didn't know. We are I going to stay this game to its conclusion. We know we're past uh, 11 East, and don't forget to stay tuned for Saturday Night Live. The Rock, the Rock is hosting Saturday Night Live tonight. That'll be right after your local news, along with several other WWF superstars. Well, the hitting tonight in this game has been tremendous. It would make Dick Buckus proud. You know, Dick Buckus said when he hit a guy, he wanted him to know who hit him without even having to turn around and check his number. By 11 with four and a half minutes to go in this ball game. Coach Ron Meyer needs a big play in the worst way here. Third down in a year. Lester's got time. He's scrambling. Whoa! John Avery! Avery is over! For God's sakes! Avery is over! And the guy that can make Avery the secondary! And they all! Oh, that's gonna be a late hit! But no play! And we got a little fight! Good ball, too. Shit! Man, what a play that was! How do you lose John Avery? Who's coming out of the ball game here? I don't think you lose him. There's just nothing you can do about it. When he catches the ball in the open field, Who's gonna catch him? Look, juke, jive, Avery going everywhere. Turn on a dime, and leave a nine cents change. Almost a late hit by number 58. I think that hit uh, hurt John Avery's wrist. He had to go out of the game. Patrice Alexander on the, on the play. Lester back to throw, the completed pass. Lester's completion to number 80. Ryan Yarper. You see? It's just bruised a little bit, huh? Oh, that's it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love this John Avery. He wants back in the game. Just a little bruise there, John. Oh, Avery, 5'9. Right. 190. Let's go half right. Uh, firm. 494. Pump. I'd snap, uh, right? Pump, I guess that trainer pump, had X-ray vision. Just felt his wrist and said it's just bruised, not broken. Big play for Tim Lester. The young man got a hurry in the shotgun. Lester looking to throw. Needs a play here. Tosses it out to the tight end. And Willie Tate takes it out of bounds. Well, this Tim Lester is fun to watch. I mean, just when you think they got him, he, he somehow throws an awkward looking pass, but it gets completed. Hey, screen again. 93. Screen again. 93. Next, next play. 93. Tim Lester, Rob, trying to get Rob. the play from the offensive coordinator. 93, it's 93. Oh, I got that. Let's go. But I, don't, I ain't playing quarterback for Chicago, thank God. <laughs> Lester in the shotgun. Got some time. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, man. What a collision. What a sovereign offer shot that was. On the screen. On the ball. Jimmy Clements. 
Lester's attention. Six sixty. Six sixty. Poor Tim Lester was teaching high school math a few weeks ago. Getting hit like that can lower your IQ, Tim. And now he's in the no huddle. Lester under center. There's the try. Avery the carry. Avery chips and ties. And Avery. And he is a he's a water bug. Boy, this guy John Avery is something else. I'm telling you, we may start the season with some unknowns here in the XFL, but I guarantee you we won't finish the season with unknowns. Well, Avery, These guys are going to be famous. Avery's not an unknown, that's for sure. Great numbers, great numbers for John Avery. You'll see him next Saturday night on NBC against Los Angeles, and that comes out of bounds as a lesser wisely threw it away, which is going to bring up third down. Come on, guys. Two minutes, six seconds to go in this football game. Field goal down to help it. Let's go, crap. You got that right, Coach. Field goal doesn't help you. Well, you're going to need two scores no matter what. Field goal doesn't help it. Hey, this is a timeout. Call him dead. Don't put him in there. Well, folks, as the clock winds down, we're heading to the U.S. Army two-minute warning. The U.S. Army presents victories in life. And certainly Jeff Brom has had to overcome a lot leading up to his role in today's game. He's 14-22 for 217 yards, four touchdowns, and only one interception. Another touchdown by Brom. Can Orlando hold on? We'll be right back. Live in Orlando, oh, yeah. Chicago, down by 11. It is third and two for the enforcers. The ball's on the 15-yard line of the or Orlando Rage. Tim Lester out of Western Michigan, the quarterback. John Avery, the running back. Lester flaring it out to Avery. Avery's had a hell of a night. Oh, my God. What a slow one out there. Stop that one. Oh, what a hit. Big time hit by Clark Jalar. Come on, D. The big strong safety cook got him some. Verbal smackdown being laid. And I love it. Avery's caught three passes for 93 yards. Fourth down play. Come on, D, make a play. Fourth down play from the 15 yard line. They got to go for it now. Watch down the middle. Minute 20 to go in the ball game. Lester looking to throw. And the pass is complete. But is it enough for a first down? First down for Chicago. Yes, it was. The clock stops on that first down here in the fourth quarter. Lester, no huddle. Lester looking to throw. The fade and good coverage by Orlando. And that pass was overthrown by Tim Lester. Tim Lester's looking a little bit flustered right here. Hey, I'm going to swing on the next quick, all right? Well, no. I'm going to swing on the next quick. Right again. Well, this has been a historic night in the XFL, hasn't it, JR? Huge crowds all over the XFL tonight, over 35,000 here. A sellout in Las Vegas, I understand. Wing left. We witnessed, we witnessed the first ever touchdown in the XFL right here. Two ball games tomorrow. I'm going to be in Birmingham. Or to see the fans there. And Tim Lester. Better hustle, son. Oh, man. And that is not what you want, but that's what you get. Uh, he might was thinking about algebra equations in his math class. How can it take that long to get the play called when, when you had a timeout before the play? Well, the clock stopped. Yeah, you're bad. Hey, safe play. 1914. Wing right. Wait. Wing left. Where were you left or right? Yeah, left. Wing left. Right. 1914. Uh, no. No. So it's second down. Ball is on the 11 yard line. <laughs> get ready there, rep. We're ready to play. This is the XFL. Move out of the way or get run over. 1 in 11 to go in the ball game. Is it left or is it right? Lester. Going in the end zone. Touchdown! A touchdown for Chicago. We still got a ball game here. Will it take the tight end? Spit the seam, and Tim Lester 
And you got to hand it to the mathematician. He hung in there and got him six. I think the tight end got his feelings hurt. He had more than his feelings hurt. He sacrificed himself for that touchdown. Taysom made a couple of big catches here tonight. That uh, that drives 73 yards in 10 plays. Let's take another look at that. 16-yard touchdown reception. And watch, watch the completion, but then listen and watch the hit after the pass is caught. Oh, right there. How did he hang on to that ball? And here's Coach Ron Meyer's reaction. Yes. Well, you needed that, Coach. So now we can expect the onside kick, but before, before that, we have the extra hey, point who attempt. Told, who told, yeah, who said that? Run too. That's what Coach Meyer. Coach Meyer said, run Smile, okay, Galen. Right. No, he can't work, smile right? now. I, I thought he'd be biting his fingernails right now. Supper's on. on the table. This game's a long way from being over. Clark, the ball carry. Or Latan Tuck. He's in. He's in there. For the, yes, huh? for the one point. And LaShawn Johnson, a young man from Haskell, Oklahoma, who played in the NFL with big cancer. And he's here because he just damn sure loves to play football. We got a four point game here. Minute and three to go. Chicago's got two timeouts remaining. Oh, but they are down, King, by four, as you said. I'm not down, I'm up right now. Look at those cheerleaders, JR. You, you do like the cheerleaders, don't you? Our first XFL, XFL final. Las Vegas has defeated New York. Who'd have thought that? So the Outlaws are on the top of their division right now, all alone. You're all over it, aren't you? Oh, yes. Until tomorrow. <laughs> when LA plays at Frisco. So Andy Crossan, you got to believe he's going to onside this baby because you got the whole damn uh, Chicago team lined up on the on one side over there, and we're about to witness another first. I'm sure this is the first onside kick here in the XFL. Well, let's see uh, how well it's defended by Orlando. The ball's got to travel 10 yards on these onsides. There should be some hitting here. Turn up the mics. Let's hear this. There's the onside. Oh, and uh, the the good hands team. Well, I started to say good hands. That's a linebacker. I guess his hands are all right. Yeah, he hung on to that one. Sean Banks makes a nice play. Take another look at this. Seriously enough. Luckily for uh, Orlando, that ball bounced right into the hands of Sean Banks, and Banks. he was able to hang on to it. Banks of Texas Tech had the interception earlier. Makes another big play for Orlando. Hold on to the ball. Deuce zero. 15 on one. Ready? Most important words Jeff Rome has uttered all night. Hold on to the ball. Orlando leading 33-29. I got it. No. I got to go weak. Rom handing off to the big man right up the middle. And uh, Chicago quickly calling timeout Derek Clark. He is a low 6'1", 235. 15 uh, carries a night for 62 yards. Uh, Derek Clark's had a unique journey. Juco at Kansas, a cup of coffee at Florida State, NAI Division II All-American at Evangel in Missouri. A little international exposure. This ball is pure water. Folks, don't forget to uh, follow your late local news. Not a deuce. The Rock. Tell him, hey, tell him knock him out. On Saturday Night, Night Live. Live. I remember the last time The Rock was on Saturday Night Live, one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. The Rock is going to lay the smack down on everybody tonight on Saturday Night Live. I bet he does. He'll do it tonight, too, without a doubt. With musical guest ACDC. Please, Coach Hall, get ready to smile. Jeff Brom again to Clark. And the big horse. Finds nowhere to go on this occasion. Clark is, uh, he has been a workhorse. He's been a mule here tonight. 
Did you see big number 65, Jeremy Akers, the offensive lineman, just sort of just sort of taking it easy on the end of that play, and he got blasted. And that Akers is a stud. He's a four-year letterman from Notre Dame, and this offensive line of Orlando has done a hellaciously good job tonight against a very aggressive, a nasty Chicago defensive front. Jeff Brom has uh, he's benefited from the job that that offensive line has done. He's had a great night. No more timeouts for the enforcers. They need a fumble. They're going to try to strip the ball. And you never know what extracurricular you may see in this environment, in this situation, in this atmosphere. Well, Tim Lester's a math teacher. He's probably doing the math. He's probably figuring out they may get the ball back with about three or four seconds left. Oh. Nice carry to Michael Black. Coach Hall, you're only 42 seconds away from your very first win at home in front of a capacity crowd here in Orlando. Well, he won't smile, he won't talk either. <laughs> Wave a chicken leg in front of him, he'll say something. Galen's like me, likes the groceries. Well, I think what Coach Hall is trying to do right now is figure out the difference in time here. You think he might be trying to coach his game? Yeah, that might be what he's trying to do. And they uh, just took a delay a game with eight seconds to go in the football game. Our sideline reporter, Jonathan Coachman, is being ignored. Just like the women have ignored him in Orlando, again, from what I hear. Don't protect football. Okay. We'll give him the ball right there with on, 14, no time. 15. I'd go 15. Okay. Okay. 15 bounds. Tell him the two heavy ball. Yeah, right. So yeah. Chicago. Going to go for it here on fourth down. Why not? They keep it in bounds. Well, Orlando the last is going to, but, but Chicago, if, if if Orlando does not get a first down, then Chicago should, well, they may get one play. I don't like Chicago's chances I, I right now. Open formation. Coach Ron Meyer is still coaching. He wants the open formation, just being optimistic. And it's... This has been a wonderful ball game. 35,603 here in the rain in uh, Orlando. And Michael Black going to carry. And Black knocked down at the 31-yard uh, line. Now, wait a minute. I think we got a second left in this ball game. We've got premature pyrotechnics. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Story of my life. One play to go. This is not over as far as Chicago is concerned. Four, four, four. 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 What kind of arm strength does the six-foot hey, young Tim play. Lester have? We'll find out here. One more. Stay back, guys. Huh? Stay back. Can he throw the ball 70 yards in the air? Here we go. Four. Okay. Well, we might find out. Man, these uh, Orlando linemen can just become a carnivore here and go get him some, a young Tim. What a fitting way to end this this first XFL game here in Orlando. One big play for the ball game. Chicago down by four. Lester in the shotgun. Throw it Whoa. as far as he can. And it's intercepted. It's intercepted by Orlando. Get out of bounds. There you go. And Orlando by uh, Stephen Fisher, the Orlando his prayers were answered. He got the last pick on the last play of the game. Folks, it has been a great night here in Orlando. A huge crowd. And Baby King, they were raucous. Oh, they were raucous. Oh, and the cheerleaders, they were lovely. They had their backfields in motion all night, and the hidden was great. We had a slobber knocker. We had big plays. We had hard hits. And we have pure love of the game as Orlando wins it 33 to 29 over Chicago. Yes!